Well, as soon as you step inside the venue's cabin, you'll really appreciate the overall quality. The quality levels are absolutely first rate. In fact, I will stretch out my neck and say that this car offers the best cabin quality and everything. The small switches here, the top of the dashboard, the top of the door panels, even the seat fabric is made from premium materials and there's absolutely nothing that you can find fault with inside the cabin. Now, in terms of the features, as you already know, it comes with Blue Link app, which means that you have a lot of connected apps. You can start this car from the outside. You can even control the temperature from the outside and you also get this sunroof on the top end version and there's also wireless charging available for your mobile phone but the reason i kept my mobile phone here on the tray is because it's an old and outdated 7 iphone 7 that is so it won't charge it's best to keep it here or to hide it away in this glove box the best of course thing to keep in the glove box is a cool water bottle because it is an air ventilated glove box so the ac inside the glove box will keep all your uh, drinks chilled and in terms of uh, drinks you have big bottle holders in the door bins and you also get big bottle holders over here. The best feature that Hyundai has given is a very thoughtful touch. It is an air freshener for the cabin. So overall, I would give this car a strong score of 9 out of 10 in the front seat department and in terms of the ambience and quality. Talking about the cabin of the XU300, in terms of the quality, both these cars are really neck and neck. In terms of features, yes, this car doesn't have those same connected apps that the venue offers. But that said, it comes with pretty thoughtful apps. Uh, you get seatbelt warning for all the passengers over here. You can change the uh, weight in the steering wheel by using this uh, steering button over here. So that changes the weight from lightness to heavier side if you want to be a little more sporty. And you get a very good feature which is dual zone climate control. So in case you have somebody shouting on you to turn it down or turn it up, you can always tell them, you know, to turn their own temperature up or down and use it whatever way they want because this car comes with that feature and this is a feature which a very expensive car offers more expensive cars maybe twice or thrice in price offer these features so that's something very good that Mahindra has done you also get tire pressure monitors as well as uh, traction control on this car it's so it might miss out on some connected apps but it comes with decent features as well and the seat comfort also is very good the good part about this car is that unlike the venue it doesn't get black interiors it comes with this beige color which really does make the cabin feel very airy very fresh and also makes it feel bigger than it is now my height for reference is 510 i always adjust the front seat for my height and my driving position and for someone who's about 510 in the back the headroom is more than sufficient knee room is quite okay but it could have been better because uh, to be honest its other rivals do offer a little more knee room but it isn't a bad thing because it is decent. The front seats have been raised so you can stretch your feet there. You get your own AC vents, you get a 12 volt charging point and the doors also open nice and wide. So getting in and out of this car isn't an issue. The seats themselves are very nice and very comfortable. The cushioning is really good. The, nip and the seats themselves are very comfortable. The cushioning is excellent. The knee and hip angle also is at a nice 90 degree. So you sit comfortably and of course if you only want two occupants at the back you can always pull out this armrest and keep a couple of beverages here and enjoy that long highway trip overall it's a nice place to be but new room yes could have been slightly better well if you're someone who prefers to be backseat driven all day long then it's a clear choice between these two cars this one has the more space in terms of knee room as well as headroom and the seats also are better in terms of cushioning there are no two ways about it the XUV has the advantage for sheer backseat space as well as comfort over the Hyundai Venue. Well, so the boot of any car is important and in the case of the Venue, it's a very nice and square shape as you can see. Uh, there's absolutely no suspension intrusion and there's a bit of a sill but you can forgive it because it is a well-shaped boot. Now, if my mother-in-law had to give it a score, she'd give it a strong score of 9 out of 10. It really is that good. While well, talking about the boot on the XV300, this is the weakest link on this car. As you can see, it's a very small boot. In fact, it's more like a hatchback boot rather than a compact SUV boot. So that's a big disappointment on this car. But that, as I just said, is the only major negative on the XV300. I'll give it a low score of 7 out of 10. Well, so the Hyundai Venue comes with uh, three engine options. You can choose the petrol, which is a one liter turbocharged. It comes with an automatic gearbox, a seven speed dual clutch. You can also choose another petrol. That's the 1.2 petrol. 
and you can also choose a diesel but in terms of power delivery refinement as well as overall drivability Hyundai has done a great job with the tuning of the uh, engines and it feels perfect so these engines feel perfect for even a slightly bigger car like the Venue now no matter which engine you decide to choose the steering wheel on all three is nice and light and it's a very responsive steering wheel as well Hyundai has done a good job with the overall uh, agility of the steering wheel it doesn't feel like it's a loose steering wheel and neither does it feel very heavy so it's got the right amount of weight in it you won't feel tired driving this car after a long day behind the wheel and even for the highway the suspension and the steering wheel settings are very good this car feels a whole lot more stable than your last girlfriend ever did on the highway and uh, this car does have that reassuring feel when you exceed speeds of 80 kph or 90 kph on the highway now 80 kph really is uh, the speed that most people do so for average people who drive on the highway this car will do perfectly because it does offer you a reassuring ride now suspension of this car is slightly on the firmer side which means that uh, in the city some of those badly pasted roads might creep in some of them not all of them but uh, overall it's as i just said a nice and easy car to drive and uh, the best part is that the clutch gearbox as well as steering is really light the manual gearbox that uh, we are using today on this diesel version is really crisp it's uh, very similar to the ones on the i20 and the grand i10 in terms of overall throws as well as usage and it can easily rival the best in this segment at the moment in terms of the overall shift pattern as well as the lightness about themselves so it's a car as i just said which won't tire you because the clutch care box as well as steering is really light now one more thing that you'll appreciate about the venue is the fact that the visibility all across is excellent the a pillar here is of a nice shape and size because you can easily look around it the view from the center uh, mirror is also good because the window at the back is nice and large and you get excellent uh, and large rear view mirrors so you get good visibility all across which is something very important if you live in a tight uh, colony where there's very limited parking available and also very important if you drive in uh, city traffic because you need visibility to you know just get away from those big buses and sometimes just uh, see where that biker is going to go next so this is a car you'll enjoy because the visibility is very good well so here i am driving the xcv 300 now and uh, this engine comes with 115 bhp and in terms of refinement both these cars are pretty similar but yes in terms of power delivery this one feels a lot more livelier we'll also appreciate this engine better is that it feels a lot more responsive the responsiveness of this engine starts from about 1600 1700 rpm which makes it a nicer car to drive around in the city and you also don't have to change your gears that often in this uh, car now in terms of the gearbox this one comes with a six speed uh, manual you can also choose an automatic but the manual six speed means that uh, the flexibility of the engine is greatly enhanced if you drive this car on the highway and you're doing speeds of say about 100 or 110 kph then the engine is spinning at about 1900 2000 rpm which makes the cabin a very quiet and isolated place to be in in terms of overall uh, feedback from the steering wheel it's a light steering wheel and that makes it great for the city but of course if you drive on the highway quite often you can uh, press this button here and uh, change the mode on the steering wheel from uh, comfort mode to sport mode or to normal mode and increase the weight in the steering wheel the normal mode is uh, a good one between comfort and uh, between sport and of course comfort is best for city because it really lightens up the steering wheel what you'll also like about this car is the ride comfort the ride is very nice and uh, in the city it offers you a very soft uh, setup so it soaks in most of the portals the badly passed up roads as well as other crevices on the road it's only the sharpest of sharp crevices which will jolt you inside the car but uh, for normal driving it'll soak in the bumps quite easy now which one is the better driver's car i have to say that the venue offers you a slightly more engaging drive because uh, it offers you a crisper chassis that one likes to change directions quickly this one doesn't feel as quick and also the xv300 has a little more in terms of the body roll now if you push this car into corners there's a little bit of body roll which is quite evident that's something that the next one controls quite well now in terms of gearbox use it's not as slick as the one on the uh, venue it also has a slightly longer throw so in terms of calling this a keen driver's car well i think the venue is better at being a keen driver's car that's all i have to say and i'll give it a strong score of 89 out of 100 and the venue gets a good score of 90. <laughs> Well, 
Well, so overall, the Hyundai Venue comes across as a feature-laden compact SUV, which offers you a plush cabin, a refined set of engines, as well as good looks on the outside. And being a Hyundai means that after sales and services will really be taken care of. So what I'm essentially trying to say is that this is one of the best compact SUVs out there in the market, and you should definitely take a look at it at a Hyundai dealership near you. I'll give this one a strong score of 90 out of 100. It's bye for now, and hope to see you soon. Hey.